Okay guys, so I'm so tired of staring at this messy screen every day. So I decided to come up with a sleek minimalistic homepage setup designed to boost productivity and reduce distractions. And the best part, it's completely free. All you need is iOS 18 and the free version of Widgy Widgets app. Let's dive right in. All right, step one, let's set the mood by turning on dark mode. It's the fastest way to make your phone instantly look more sleek and to complete the vibe I'm increasing the icon size to large dark icons because it's all about keeping things visually simple. Next let's swap this Miami Vice inspired wallpaper for something calmer. I found a stunning black and white mountain scene with a majestic fog covered peak. It's pure fire, the link is in the description below. Alright now for the fun part. Go to the App Store and download Widgy Widgets app. It's free unless you want more than one widget. Once downloaded, open the app and set it up. I'm using English, metric units, Celsius, kilometers and I'm starting my week on Monday. Choose your icon and that's it. You're all set. Now this part might be a bit tricky but don't worry I got you. We will need to set up transparency so that the widget matches the wallpaper background. Click on manage on the bottom and select setup transparency. Once you're at this screen, head back to your home screen and activate wiggle mode by a long press on your screen. Navigate to a blank page and take a screenshot of that blank page just like I'm doing here. Once it's saved, go back to Widget Widgets app, click add wallpaper, grant access and select the screenshot you just took. Hit the check mark in the upper right corner to confirm. Now let's add the widget that I'm using here. It's called minimal date and time, but the problem is you can't search by name in this app and there are literally thousands of widgets. So to make it easier, I have included a Google Drive link in the description below. Just download the widget with Safari on your phone, click on the file and it should automatically import the widget into the app. Then just click back in the upper left and you should see the widget there. Then click on manage at the very bottom and scroll all the way down to a large widget slots. Tap on large one and select the imported widget. Just make sure the widget placement is correct and hit the check mark. If it asks you to apply the theme, select yes. And then head back to your home screen to add the widget. But first we have to make space for the widget, right? Once done, tap edit add widget, scroll down to Widgy and select large one. When Widgy widgets ask for permissions, be sure to click allow, otherwise it won't work right. All right, the widget is in place and we are almost done, but there's more if you want to make it look like this. Now that we have covered the basics, Let's get back to the icons and play around with the tint a little. The color is totally up to you personally. I like mine to be a subtle grayish white, so that's what I'm going with. You can go whatever you like, but I found that the gray white icons help me with my productivity the most. Now there's one more thing I want to show you with this widget. This is totally optional, but you can make this widget interactive. Right now tapping it does nothing, but you can customize it to open different apps depending on where you tap. Click on edit widget and you will see a short tutorial on how the widget editor works. Click on continue until you see the grid. Once you see the grid, click on tap action. Here you can adjust the area where the tab will be recognized as a command to open an app. I want the upper part of the widget to open weather app, so I will adjust the frame size and click on the tab icon to set the action. At the tab action screen, change the last external action to open URL shortcut. Tap to edit it and choose Apple apps and find weather at the bottom. Once done, click back to confirm and then test the widget. It should open the weather app when you tap on it. 
All right, guys, so here is my final setup. And as you can see, I have kept only the work related apps on my home screen. All the essential apps are on the first screen and everything else is tucked away here in the app library. All my key widgets are here on the left and I have also customized the bottom part of this main widget so that when I tap on it, it takes me straight to my calendar. Last but not least, I have simplified the control center to a single page for a more minimal look. I have tweaked also the connectivity controls here in the upper right to match the look of the iOS 17. Because I'm not sure why, but the iOS 18 doesn't have the single Wi-Fi toggle button. So I have created a shortcut that turns the Wi-Fi on or off. All right, that's it for today. Let me know if you like this minimalistic home screen setup. As always, I'm reading all your comments, so don't hesitate to chat with me. I appreciate you watching all the way till the end. Have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one.